Hey guys, Steam here from Boogie Snail Mushroom. Hope you're having a very great day. So today I'm going to speak about dithering in mushroom. I'm going to also show you some practical uh, tricks how to test your favorite dither. So before we start, uh, please remember, if you have a mix that you need mustard, request a quote at bsmustering.com and uh, receive 50% of your first order. I would also very much appreciate, guys, if you subscribe and hit the notification bell to support my channel. And now, let's get to the video. <laughs> What is dithering and why do we do that? So according to the information theory, we should actually apply dithering almost every time we apply a change to digital information. So let me give you a simplified uh, idea how it works. So when the digital signal goes down at the very tail of the information, just one bit would be left to reflect the digital information. This bit can just either be 1 or 0 and has an uh, inability to reflect the signal precisely. The phenomenon is that the lower the signal gets, the rougher the resolution would be. And why then we add the noise? This is uh, just because the noise is programmed to activate as many other unused bits to get involved to reflect this noise and by activating more bits into the whole uh, process the resolution gets finer. Dithering actually consists of two steps. Uh, step one is rounding. We always need to use dithering when we reduce bit depths and this is actually the case when we reduce bit depths to 24 bit and it is even more the case when we reduce it to 16 bit and rounding is simply a mathematical uh, rounding where we would uh, take the better information which is in the lower bits and which would uh, get kind of uh, deleted in the target form so when you go down from a 32 bit floating point to a target form of uh, 16 bit we take the previous uh, 17 to uh, 32 bit and uh, round that information and we add that rounding into the 16th bit in that case the 16th bit is called the lsb lsb stands for the least significant bit of the target bit depth so when you go down from a uh, 30 uh, second bit floating point to 24 bit fixed point, the 24 bit would be your LSB, the least significant bit. And in such case, the information between the 25th and the 32nd bit would be rounded and added into the LSB of your uh, 24 bit target format. Step two is adding noise. And as I've uh, already explained, the reason why we need to add noise is because the digitizer can only choose between zero and one. And when we have uh, reverb tails or fade outs or very low information, and if we don't apply dithering, we would get a nasty sound, which is a kind of a bit crackling of the last uh, bit, which does not exactly know should it be one or zero. It's because of the inability to reflect any finer resolution information in between. All existing dithering tools are not created equally. There are currently many different algorithms to accomplish uh, this task. Each DOM manufacturer has either its own version or one supplied by a third party. All these dithers uh, sound uh, slightly different and one may be better for a certain type of uh, music than uh, than others. The differences between different flavors of these dithers and noise, noise uh, shaping are usually pretty subtle. Now let me show you in practice how you can uh, test your favorite uh, dither and its algorithm. 
Um, I will make this test in uh, Studio One using my favorite Dither Lean Pro from Mart. So I have this uh, original 44 uh, 32 bit resolution file. It has a long reverb tail. It is the original level. This is pretty nice sample basically to test, to test dithering. Let me just pl play it a few times. So first I apply minus 40 dB level reduction, then I set my dither type and nose shaping option. I render the whole uh, thing into 16 bit and then I apply plus 24 dB boost uh, to hear the subtleties. One crucial warning is when you do dithering test and you uh, play around fastly with uh, levels please be careful when you crank up the level to hear the result uh, after rendering make sure you switch off your dither and make sure you switch off the gain tool set to minus 40 db because if you play the file with the reduced uh, level you would hear nothing so, and my first test is uh, to hear truncation artifacts. What is uh, truncation? Truncation would simply cut off the bits below the LSB of your target bit depth. To make this test, I just need to apply minus 40 dB level reduction, then bypass the deezer, then set rendering to 16 bit. Uh, option in uh, Studio One and then apply plus 24 dB level boost. Uh, this way we can hear the artifacts of no dithering. I have already made this uh, truncation version to save time, so let's have a listen. As you hear, there's this uh, crackling stuff which comes from the last bit which toggles between 1 and 0 and doesn't know exactly what to do. And the reverb is also truncated. Now let's test the Deezer itself. As you may see on the screen, my output bit depth is 16-bit, my Deezer type is triangular, and the noise shaping is set to an S1, which is first order noise shaping option. This time my um, test steps um, are similar. So first I uh, set uh, um, gain um, to minus uh, 40 dB, then um, dither set to different uh, dither type and no noise uh, shaping option, then I render the whole thing into 16 bit, and secondly, so and um, um, finally, I uh, set gain. Um, uh, to uh, plus 24 dB, to I applied plus 24 dB level boost. This way we can uh, hear the subtleties. So I have already made this version, so let's have a listen. So this is basically the approach using the gain uh, reduction and boost is uh, quite a right way to study up and test as uh, to what the differences between the settings are. Now you may think that the noise of uh, this test is crazy, but please remember that first we reduced the level by 40, dB and then boost the level by 24 dB to hear the subtleties. Let's just be clear, the real noise we are talking about is really, really uh, low. It's like uh, 90 dB down from zero. So we are talking about very low level noise. Don't worry about your project getting hissy or noisy, uh, so it's not gonna affect you in any 
sort of um, noisy way, but it is something that you uh, need to know. So my personal opinion about dithering is it is quite important and don't waste too much time on that. <laughs> 